Recently, Kiri Engine released an add-on for Blender which allows you to render Gaussian splats directly in Blender, which is amazing because a couple months ago I did a collaboration with Kiri Engine and I showcased how you can render Gaussian splats in Unreal Engine. But now that we can do this in Blender, I'm really excited for the future of photorealism because that's going to be much easier and also going to be much better. But I first have to explain what Gaussian splatting is and it's pretty much just a photogrammetry technique but instead of picture and like trying to map that to a mesh instead of doing all that it just takes a video and from that video it will shoot out weird looking blurs but from the right angle they look just like whatever you filmed one of the bad things is that it's really hard to render uh, pretty much nothing really was able to render this the only thing i found was unreal engine a couple months ago but that really sucks setting everything up nothing matched uh, with like the gizmos and stuff so i'm hoping in blender that's a lot better i'm going to test it out for the first time so you have like the first impressions and then after that i'll try to uh, tell a little bit more about that so the add-on was made by Kiri engine so i'll leave a link in the description if you want to try that out so here is the github page of the 3d gs render blender add-on the add-on was made for the most current version uh, version 4.2 so just keep that in mind so we can download the zip file right here and then just install it in blender install from disk and here we have it installed so that really wasn't that hard uh, we can just close out of that i don't think yeah we don't need to do anything here does it have a menu yes it does oh the renders in eevee i am actually surprised by that that will make it even faster so it will automatically convert 3d gs scans into eevee renderable objects that is really cool so we have the option to import poy as splat and we can first download that from carry engine what i'll do is i'll provide one of my own 3d Gaussian splats that you can import um, in Blender. So I'll just post that on my website. I'll probably leave a link on screen now so you can follow along with this actually. So I've made uh, a couple Gaussian splats. So I think I'm going to import this little plant that I photo scanned. So we can hit export and then export splats in PLY format. This video is not sponsored by Kiri Engine, by the way. I wish it was. I have been sponsored by them before, but uh, not this video. I just want to show this because I think that's really cool. So we have import or update or we have the PLY directory and I think that will update when we import it. So I'm just going to go where I saved it, which is right here. Then just import it. It's done already. That looks pretty cool. Let's see. Where are we? I think we have to go to rendered view. Ah, it makes it like planes. That is pretty cool. But here we have our splats, which probably uses like geometry nodes yes it does and all of the splats are oriented in one direction which i don't really like to be honest uh, but it might rotate with it i think it rotates with like uh, wherever the world orientation is so you can get a nice angle and i'm pretty disoriented to where i am right now let's just try to align it like this and then zoom in and yeah this is looking really cool it's not exactly as clean as the Gaussian splats. Let's see if we can go back to that, which is right here. This looks way cleaner. And this is actually how it rendered in Unreal Engine, which is really cool. So it doesn't seem like there is an actual way to import it as splats in Blender. But as you can see, I'm rotating it. And um, the line in which we can look through these planes stays on the same side so it does appear to me that you can rotate this to get a better view for your camera which is really nice but i would love to have uh, something in this geometry nodes which orients all of these planes randomly uh, because realistically I, I don't think it should matter that much uh, which way they're pointing maybe just like a tiny bit so you don't have this uh, massive line if you align all of the the planes correctly that you're looking through everything I want to rotate it like this and then just align it. It is pretty laggy, but um, it's not that bad, to be honest. And it also imported really fast, which is um, pretty cool. Yeah, let's just see, is this aligned? It's somewhat aligned. So we're rotating around the plant, which I want to add a camera in for. And this is kind of like the render that I want. So we're just going to select both the camera and the plant. And just rotate it until the planes align nicely for my camera, like this. Or maybe what i'm thinking of right now is that this should have like an input for the camera so all of the planes will orient towards the camera 
So you never have to rotate. You can just place your camera somewhere and then all of the planes will look at the camera. I hope they're listening at Kiri Engine. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we can make like a cool render. It's also not very visible in object mode, which is understandable. Let's see if we can add cavity, if that helps or if that makes it even worse. Uh, it makes it a lot better actually. So that's a tip for me. Just turn on cavity here and then use both because screen doesn't work both does work and performance is much better in solid mode so that's nice i want to blur a little bit more on the foreground but but i guess we could maybe do that in compositing just enable the camera here and then like well we'll do it here so we can actually see uh let's see blur and also a image mask now what was it ellipse mask that's what i'm looking for let's preview this i want the width to be one and then the height to be one divided by 16 and then times nine for my aspect ratio then i want to blur this mask to something like 250 and then i want to use that as a mask for blurring this this is my blur this is my not blur uh put this in the bottom probably something like this other way around it's always the other way around and now we have a nice blur on the edges all right so i just uh, scanned my hand and i'm just going to download that and import it in this new scene this will be available on my website so you can follow along with this video so let's see, yeah, this is the angle where we want to look at it from. And we can just add in a camera and then just rotate everything just so it looks really nice. Let's see if we can actually relight this effectively. So we're going to add in a spotlight, just move it over there and increase the intensity. And it does not look like it's doing anything. So the material for this will probably be like a mission or maybe if we turn that off let's see what is shadeless does that mean we can add in a light it does mean that which is really cool so we can actually relight this it does seem to be a lot brighter than normal lights so let's see if we can do some nice relighting here let's do a poster let's do a nice poster of this like a movie poster or something make it really cool so this is shadeless this is pretty much what came out of Curry Engine. And then this is shaded, which looks really noisy, but that might be because of like the samples I'm using. Just render out the image and we're going to do some post-processing. And I guess I'll just show you the end result. I'm not going to uh, bother in this video with um, the color grading process and, and things like that. So yeah, this is the result. All right, so I'll show the results from these videos, probably at the beginning of this video. But uh, yeah, that is pretty cool. So some final thoughts. I really love how fast it is to like implement. You can just download the add-on. You saw me do it. It took me like five minutes to get it up and running and get my uh, splats in Blender. Uh, something I do or, or I would like to see is like this camera update is not working for me. I have no idea why, uh, but yeah, maybe that's a bug. But like I said, I would like to have something where these planes are actually tracked to my camera location. And other than that, it's really useful for getting pretty much anything you want. So I'll try to like make a video from here maybe. And I can iterate on this like endlessly, of course. And you can get some really cool results like this in just like minutes. Um, so yeah, if you want to download this, I'll leave a link in the description. I'll also leave a link for that hand model that I showed you in this video uh, on my website. So you can just download it and import it right into Blender. If you found this useful, please leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment saying plant if you made it this far in the video. Goodbye.